Today, Tampa remembered the 31 city police officers who died in the line of duty. 31 of their colleagues laced up their sneakers as a way to honor those who paid the ultimate price. News Channel 8's Paul Mueller was there for us. And with that, they're off. The young, families, and the more experienced runners, all taking part in the 23rd annual Tampa Police Memorial Run, along with 31 officers running in memory of the 31 who couldn't be here. It was a blessed opportunity for us that we were afforded the opportunity to run for those who couldn't. One of those killed in the line of duty, Officer Dave Curtis. De La Rosa remembers standing next to him as the two were sworn in. You know, it was one of those things that it was just, you know, it was real. We couldn't believe what had happened. Officers Curtis and Jeffrey Kocab were shot and killed in June 2010 during a routine traffic stop that turned deadly. It's an honor to be here. If they were here with us today, they'd be right here in the formation running for the rest of us. You know, at any given day, that could happen to us, and I hope that, you know, knock on wood, you know, someone will step in and run for me. These officers, it sounds like a cliche, but they're literally one call away from not returning home to their family. Interim Chief Brian Dugan wants the people of Tampa to know his officers will be there, especially in today's politically charged climate. Whether you kneel or stand, when you call 911, the cops are going to show up. During his three decades at City Hall, when everyone else is running away from a scene, it's these folks that are running in. Mayor Bob Buckhorn remembers losing nine of those 31 officers. It's important that we remember them and just don't forget them as some name etched on a stone. Those are real people who gave their lives for us. And that's why runners like Fred Lay make this event a family affair, a thank you to the men and women sworn to protect and serve. These guys go out and they put themselves in, in harm's way every day, and, you know, certainly as a, as a resident of this community, we certainly appreciate it. Now, if you'd like to learn more about each of those 31 officers and how they paid the ultimate sacrifice, I put the information on our website, WFLA.com. I'm Paul Mueller, News Channel 8.